What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys a walkthrough of the new Xbox One Experience slash Windows 10 update for the Xbox One. This is a huge improvement over the previous dashboard, everything is front and center, it's very easy to navigate, it seems faster, tighter, just more responsive, and uh, honestly I've had no problems with it so far. Um, but just to get right into things guys, uh, here is the home page. Uh, this is my most recently played game, which is Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and then underneath that is, you'll kind to recognize this stuff um, this is my most recently accessed games and apps um, which is pretty cool and while I see this right here the Xbox preview dashboard if you guys want an invite to the Xbox one preview program please leave your gamer tag in the comments below and I'll try and invite as many of you as I can but uh, just to go on with this my stuff seems to be a uh, a renamed version of my pins so here's my pin stuff like twitch and halo 5 and all that kind of stuff and my games and apps is accessed down here as well so pretty simple um, all this stuff is front and center, which is nice. Uh, you've got a couple ads here on the right, the promotions, you might recognize that from the previous dashboard, and this is where you access games with gold. So that's the home, it's pretty simple, I like it. Um, community, this is like the activity feed, so this is where you see achievements pop up when your friends unlock them, when someone goes live on Twitch, when someone takes a screenshot, when someone posts a video game clip, all of that goes here. You don't have to go digging for it in the friends section like the previous dashboard, which is really nice, so I'm all happy with that. And then when you go over here to store, it kind of opens into subcategories. So you've got games, apps, movies and TV, and music. Um, so I like the way that it, 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 it opens out like that. It's uh, it's just really nice and simple and it's, it's much better than the previous dashboard IMO. Um, Right here, you can see all the you know new releases, uh, top rated games. It's you know they're very well displayed. You can clearly see which game is which, which is really nice. Like the there's not a lot on the new dashboard, which is which is actually really nice to say. Like it's not as complicated as it previously was. Like you had to go digging for for things to 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 find stuff on the previous dashboard, which was kind of annoying. So I'm really happy that it's it's easy to navigate now. And it looks really nice too. Like you can clearly see the background there now, which is which is cool. You can make use of your backgrounds now a lot better, I think anyways. Um so this is the main thing that people are really talking about and what people really like about this dashboard update. When you go over here to the left, all you have to do is hit left when you're on the dashboard. Um, you uh, you have access to this uh, Xbox One guide that comes up on the left, kind of like the original Xbox 360 dashboard, which I really like personally. So here's your friends list. You can clearly see what they're doing, uh, you know, in great detail, actually, for such a small space. You can There's a lot of detail as to what your friends are doing here. You can see what games they're playing or if they're on the dashboard or whatever, which is really nice. Um, you could, this is how you can add someone right there and find someone, which is a lot easier than having to dig into the friends section on the previous dashboard. Uh, you can start a party here. It's so much easier to find this. Um, I honestly didn't really know how to use the party system on the previous dashboard, so there's that. Uh, this is where you access your messages, notifications are here. Notifications are actually so much better now because they stack here. So you can go in here, uh, you can see if someone liked your game clip, that's really cool. So there seems to be more detailed notifications and after a certain time it seems like they actually clear out uh, instead of stacking like it previously did which I didn't like because you would see old notifications and you weren't sure if your friends were inviting t uh, you to games or if that was from a previous time. So. I'm happy that, that, that it's like this now and you can clear it just like that and it's done. And then there's kind of, uh, you know, uh, some settings here. Uh, you can access your settings from here, like there's more in-depth settings. I'll just show you guys real quick. Everything's like very well categorized, like it's not, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to get lost in here now I feel. So if you guys are looking to do, tweak your settings in here, it's, it seems to be pretty easy to navigate this. So. Um, yeah, that seems to be it for the main dashboard itself. And so what people are kind of interested in is, uh, I'm gonna load up Gears of War here. Um, the, people wanna see like how the, the guide um, works in, in game. So I'll just load this up here. Da, 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 da. But uh, so far, I've had no problems with the dashboard. You guys may have noticed uh, on one of the uh, on one of the tabs on the home, there was kind of like a funky look. Hold on, I can back it. I can back out here. There's like a funky looking text here, 
but that's that's normal like this is early preview so it's no big deal um but anyway oh i just i just noticed that it pauses when you kind of do that thing now which is kind of cool i guess that's to stop uh any kind of lag from happening um but let's uh load up gears of war here and just get in the menu Do, 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 do. All right, so you can still do what you could do on the original dashboard by backing out to the dashboard just like this um, and, you know, navigating and maybe going over here and seeing what you want to do, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so, but what you can do now is you can go here and then you can double tap the guy button and it brings up your friends list and you can start a party and everything from in-game, check your messages so you don't have to fully back out to the dashboard to, you know, make use of your Xbox One, which is really nice. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Uh, I'm going to be inviting people to the preview dashboard uh, through the Xbox preview program. So, if you guys want in and maybe have the chance to get early access of the Xbox One dashboard, leave your gamer tag in the comment section below and I will invite you guys uh as many of you as i can anyways but uh yeah that has been it guys i hope you all enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and maybe even share it subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace